Former footballer Peter Crouch spilled all to Alan Carr on his Life's a Beach podcast about the time Madonna's security team supposedly refused him when he asked to have a photo with her. Peter Crouch claims he was knocked back by Madonna's team after a chance encounter abroad. The 42-year-old ex-Liverpool striker was star-struck after spotting her in a Miami restaurant, but was reportedly bluntly informed that the material girl didn't like to be disturbed. The awkward moment came to light during a lively podcast detailing the most memorable travel moments he and wife Abby Clancy had shared. I was with the lads and I was having dinner in this restaurant, when I discovered, we were, sitting, back to back, he excitedly told Life's a Beach podcast host Alan Carr, 47. He thought he was in with a chance after all her security team headed for a toilet break at the same time as him only to initially find that the all-English group were more interested in snapping a selfie with him. The ex-football legend claims he spent half an hour entertaining them, participating in pictures and even sending a video to one month's son, answering, Yeah, no worries to each of their requests. I spent loads of time with them and then I said, Well, can I have a picture with Madonna? He recalled. However, they are said to have hit back with. No, she doesn't like to be disturbed. Leaving him deeply disappointed, although he conceded. She seemed nice. His wife Abby, 37, wasn't present when he caught sight of the multi-million selling songstress, although she did chime in to reveal the most impressive celebrity had ever met was American actor Mickey Rourke. Abby and Peter also shared the lowdown on their most unusual holiday eats, after a cackling Alan asked them what the worst thing they'd ever put in their mouths was. While Peter admitted he was the more adventurous of the pair and was happy to chow down on French delicacies such as frog's legs and snails. Abby was horrified at the thought of it, insisting she loves frogs and even keeps her own pet tadpoles at home. She explained that she couldn't bring herself to eat one. I don't want them to die, she declared, admitting that she feeds her tadpoles a special grain mixture each day. Meanwhile, in another recent interview about family pets, Abby admitted that she struggles to enforce discipline with one of the couple's dogs. At her children's school, they have an annual ceremony called Blessing of the Pets where all the students take in their beloved animals to be blessed by St. Francis. But her boisterous dog didn't want to behave for the occasion. Our dog, out of hundreds of dogs, is the only dog that's a asterisk asterisk ing about. We're getting judged at this point. Look at them. Ex-footballer. Silly dumb a asterisk asterisk model. Can't even control the dog. She cringed on an episode of the Therapy Couch podcast. Peter chimed in. But when I arrived, how did the dog behave? While Abby hit back, because you're his master. That's because you undermine me in the house. 